early morning live stream because we're starting so late at night, we might as well call it what it is. It is the next day and it is morning time. By the time this stream is over, it'll probably be around maybe five or six o'clock. I don't know, we can run for like two hours or we can run for four hours. It just depends on if you guys have a lot you wanna open. And when we're all done, I'll have to rush to do all the shipping because we're gonna be so far behind. How's it going, everyone? We're gonna be so far behind in, in terms of time for the day. How many boosters in that box? So that's a box of Towering Perfection, and there's 30 boosters in it. 30 of them. How's it going, man? Yeah, I had an awful migraine today. Ooh, hate to hear that. Whew. So today was the last day that my in-laws were over, and now they're gone, so I can be as noisy as I want. And I basically just caught up on, like, four days of sleep that I didn't really get, you know, because... My normal sleep schedule is that I sleep during the day, but they were over here uh, and making a lot of noise and hanging out. And so for the last four days, I hadn't been getting any sleep. I finally zonked out today and I did not wake up till just about now, maybe a couple, maybe about half an hour ago. I, I need a little time to set the stream up, right? So I, I did get a little bit of sleep caught up on and oh man, I was feeling awful. <laughs> You just don't want to go that long without a full night's sleep. And to be frank, I'm still pretty tired, but it's like I can feel physically that I've gotten sleep for once. So anyways, uh, Mr. Edson Hernandez says, any PSA news? You know, it's funny, Mr. Mr. Hernandez, you're like the fourth person to ask me that today. There is no PSA news. I always post if there's PSA news in the PSA channel. Please look there. I... I if there's any any other information out about PSA, I'm not hoarding the information. No, there's not a return yet. The last time I checked PSA, the latest return is not even close to being done. Uh, if you ask me if it's almost done, that does not speed up how fast they do it, okay? So just asking about it won't make it happen sooner, unfortunately. Ooh, this is a PSA 9R box. Let's go ahead and close the sleeve on this. It's been over a month, that's why. Here we are. Yeah, there's no point in asking. It does not speed them up. They go exactly the same speed no matter how many times you guys ask me. A lot of people asking today. I wish I could speed them up. We'd have our pokey cards in no time. I'd be like, hey, PSA, get your butts done with that uh, PSA grade. I thought asking if it's almost ready makes it 10 times faster. How many snap cards you have? I got all the snap cards. Is snap card code word for Pikachus? <laughs> he talked about my dog sexually. There's no coming back from that. What? What are you talking about? Okay, I'm just moving some more bulk off the table. So we're having kind of a rough start here. I just kind of, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't do anything. No cleaning. No, no crazy things in the live custom booster box. We're just sort of picking up from yesterday. I thought you weren't uploading today. Was gonna sleep, but now you uploaded. Says the bandit. Yep, we're here live. And you guys can open up cards just like usual. I'm going to head over and see if anyone did a, a pre-order. Because sometimes people do pre-orders. So I'm going to start looking for pre-orders now. So, pre-orders, huh? Well, let me see. There was the item I bought. Yeah. So I bought an item today. And I can see that coming out of my account. Yes, so I see where we are. And there are no pre-orders. Okay, so there's no pre-orders. I got nothing to worry about. What are these over here? Let's move this tape over. What is all this stuff? I think this is the pity pile. And, you know, I got these metal cards that have been sitting up here on the table, like, forever. I think I'm ready to get rid of these. <laughs> these metal cards drive me nuts. Look at all these metal cards. Damn. I've been selling these for like half a year. And they sell, but man, they sell slow. Not that they hurt me just hanging around. You know, they've been hanging around. Yesterday, in a single day, we cut $90 of cards with the new pair of scissors. The Great Destroyer. <laughs> Mister, you should ban blocking people. What? No, blocking people is a good thing. Blocking people is like a way for people to practice their own form of moderation. You know, the, the moderators aren't perfect, so they can't catch every problem or stop every mean person. 
uh, and everyone has different tastes. So when you meet a, a, when you run across somebody that you find unsavory, instead of requiring the mods to get rid of them, you can just block them, and now you don't have to deal with their shit anymore. So uh, blocking people is fantastic. It's a very good thing. There we go. Man, that looks nice. I'm waiting on my bank to clear some checks. Then I'm going to what? You're going to cut some cards? Tyler, I know I'm awful. I just got excited. Thanks for explaining, Mr. Mikey. How do you buy, says Eladio Torres. Uh, there is a video in the description you can walk that uh, watch that talks a little bit about uh, how to order. Barely found your channel. You barely found it? Well, I'm glad you did, mister. This is a very busy Pokemon card channel. We open lots and lots and lots of cards. We go live every night, every night, all seven days of the week. And we probably open, we open a few thousand dollars of cards every day. Uh, I open up some cards for myself every day. We got a TikTok account. We got Instagram. We got YouTube. This is very, very active. No more quiet stream. No more quiet stream. I can be as loud as I want. MZR says, I'm glad I found you on YouTube Shorts. Been watching your videos since 12 a.m. It's 3 a.m. now. Oh, snap, dude. You've been watching a lot then. And then, then I must have gone live. And you're like, oh, this guy's gone live. Yeah, so here we are loud, and normally the live stream would start for me at 12 a.m. Central, which is 1 a.m. Pacific Time, and 10, 10 a.m. I think I said that wrong. Oh, it starts at 10 a.m. Pacific. There we go. 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 a.m. Eastern. Ta-da. Okay, there we go. I got it right now. <laughs> I just watched the video where you cut all the cards. Man, some of those are hard to watch. I know. Tyler says, I was watching Darkness. 9.30 in the UK, so right in the morning, actually. So the UK is always six hours. Yes, 9.30 in the UK right now. Mr. B. Louder, where's Kitty? Well, Kitty's not in here at the moment. The Kitties were happy that my uh, in-laws finally left because now the Kitties can run around and be free. 10.30 in Sweden. 4.30 Eastern. All right, well, I tell you guys what, so the audience tonight is going to be really small, and there's a good reason for that. The reason the audience is going to be so small is because we started so damn late, and really, you know, people are all in bed, especially on the east side. I mean, 3 a.m., I don't think there could be a worse time to start. Even in California, it is already 1 a.m., and I believe it is now Monday, so everyone's getting ready to go to work or school or whatever it is people do, so this will be a very low viewer stream in my opinion but that doesn't mean we can't open a few cards and we might run for about two hours and then i might wrap up and i just wanted to make sure that there was a stream because i try to do a stream every single day so that's that was the point of tonight's stream giveaway time says alex that's right let's do a huge giveaway while everyone's asleep <laughs> your followers don't work mister some of them's got to be working because they earn money they earn enough money to open up pokemons it's just government checks. We're the loyal ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We do have an order from a Mr. Adam Vinson who wants a Crimson Invasion. Mr. Adam Vinson. Mr. Adam, let's see what you get. You pull Mill Tank. All right. One Mill Tank. The only Pokemon with nipples. So, Adam Vinson, where would I find your bag? Adam Vinson would be... We didn't ship you, did we? Aiden. Adam Vinson. First pack. Machamp got some nips. No, he doesn't. Now, Machamp is drawn without nips. Keith Ferbert. Live shipping on my bag. I need to see my Lugia in person. Okay, so Keith Ferber would like some shipping. Here it is. Mr. Keith. Let's open our shipping software and see if it still runs. <laughs> Keith. Here it is. Keith Ferber, 392. All right. And your bag's very small, actually. So we'll go ahead and print that. You know, we ought to do uh, we ought to do an XY split box break. We had a box break on something cool. There you go, Keith. So Keith is scheduled to go out. 
After Keith, we have Ruben Aguilar. Hello, Ruben. He wants two Star Wars, two Skystream, two Tiring Perfection. I'm a baggie. Okay, give me a minute. So we got two Towering, two Skystream, and two Star Wars. Toro Teal, let me follow my personal Whip Whip Tyler. Nuzleaf has nipples. That's right. No, he doesn't. Mr. from the UK, love the content. Keep it going. It starts my day off to a banger. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Mr. Aguilar. Yeah, we're probably getting some international people at this time. This is morning time for the UK. It's the morning stream in the UK. Sneep. Bitcoin went up. 4,000 overnight, says Bud Thompson. Yeah, that actually happens a lot on the weekends when it comes to uh, crypto. Crypto tends to fall right before the weekend and then jump when the weekend ends. It's like a cycle. Who knows why? Where's the king's court, says Jack Gray. It's not here yet. I'm sorry. All right. We got Star Wars, Star Wars, Luke, it's Luke, Luke, the Death Star, Mercenary Droid, Early Concept, and for your sticky cards, Leia and the Death Star again. You had four Bitcoin and sold out, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mister. Oh, what do we have over here? Here's Luke and Yoda. Yoda. Here's an X-Wing. The Emperor. Ooh. A-T-S-T. A-T-S-T. Jabba. Jawas. The Rancor. And an early design for the Rancor. And... What were those called again? The speeder bike chase. I'm in a box of chilling rain. I was super happy with my pulls. I ended up pulling a Pharaoh secret rare obel ob obelisk. There we go. <laughs> Hard to say all that. Woohoo! So, Mr. Ruben Aguilar, here are your blue sky streams. You've got Landorus. Cold. Slacking, and Galarian Moltres. Nothing too wild in your round, mister. I'm sorry. I'd buy to the large, except people keep asking to buy my stuff. And then ghosting you. I'm sorry. Here we go. Here's Ruben. Ruben, your back's getting real large. I think, Ruben, we can move you over to a an overflow. So, Ruben, you're going to get moved to the overflow. Michael Cusick, Mr. A Box of Chilling. A whole box, guys. Give me a minute. Ruben, I'll go grab a box. A box of chilling. Well, I'm glad we went live tonight because we have Mr. Michael ready to open a whole box of these on the live stream for us. All right, I'm excited. Here we are. I am excited. Setting these other boxes down here. Damn, this music's so quiet. Let's get some louder music. Here we go. Much better. How much was that dark magneton when you got it, mister? Well, I think I talked about it. 4,600. Pretty pricey. I should buy another one. I really like them. Oh! Did you see that chilling rain pack go flying? Here we are. All right. Here we go. Sneep. 
Sneeps. Uh, neep. We're getting the Sneeps. Sneep. Obviously, my... My... Secret Sneep technique is the reason why these packs end up so hot. Sneep. 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 Do 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 do. All right. <clears throat> Place that to the side. Clearing my throat there. Should have had a drink with me. Gold card's gonna be in this box. Watch. We'll see. Each box is different. He has a chance. The cards are really pushed up for some reason. And we're going one at a time on the steeps. Cold. Wait, why did I say cold? I meant sleep. <laughs> My brain running on autopilot a little bit over here. <laughs> did I mention I just woke up about 30 minutes ago? Yep. And I haven't had any caffeine. And I'm recovering from having very, very, very poor sleep over the last four days. I took the Wave Runner out. That was cool. I uh, gave my brother-in-law and my mother-in-law a ride on it. So that was fun. But it's still making this kind of weird noise. And it does not have a license plate. You have to get a certain kind of boating license plate. I need to do that. I might try to do that today or tomorrow. I, it really just needs to be done already. Took too long not doing it. Okay. Did they hold you by the waist? Well, there is actually a, a sort of handle on the back they can hold on to. But you know, uh, the life jacket has some straps and yeah, so uh, if we went really fast, they just grabbed the straps. It's kind of awkward, isn't it? <laughs> That's just how it is. But you know, you have so much fun, you, you really stop caring. You're like, you stop caring about how awkward it is and just enjoy it. All right, here we go. We've got Chestplate and Celebi VMAX. Start out with the Celebi. Ha-ha, mm -hmm. there we go. Here's Porygon. Far-fetched. Cast form. Here's Whirlipede. Look at that Whirlipede. Is it mapped? It is not mapped. I know that for a fact. They are not mapped. Here's Grookey. Caitlin. Blissey. Look at this Blissey. We've seen a lot of Blisseys. Yeah, I open up a lot more Chilling Rain. Okay, Karen's Conviction. I wonder if the fact that her name is Karen, though, hurts her value as a card because of the whole Karen meme. Karen's Conviction. Places over here. They're going to have to change her name. <laughs> Bro, that's a hit. <laughs> Here's Blitzel. Here's Agatha. That's not Gordy. I know, where's Gordy? <laughs> Gordy's gonna be in the next English box, by the way. So whatever the next box is, Evolving Skies, is gonna have Gordy in it. So good luck with that, guys. Here's Galarian Farfetch'd and Galarian Runeragus. Here's Tornadus. Look at this Tornadus. Okay, Tornadus. We've got Golette. Chilling Rain is such a tough set. Is it? I feel like it is for a few reasons because there really are some derpy pulls and there's a lot of items as well. Don't mess with Karen. She has a Tyranitar. All right, here we go. The other half of the box. Here's Drizzle. Old Cemetery and Galarian Slow King. Whoa.
Here's a Bond Sweet. Sweet! Quillfish. Hey, we got 130 viewers anyways. That's pretty cool. You know, I really wasn't expecting that many viewers tonight because we started at 3 a.m. Actually, we started closer to 3.30 a.m. There's Lucky Energy. Saw's Buck. Here's Wheezing. Impact Energy. Flaffy and Zarude. 6.30 in Australia. Oi! Throw some shrimp on the Barbie, mate. Here's some Zapdos. We'll move this out of the way. And we'll move all of these out of the way. All right, here we are. Zangoose. Coughing. Coughing, coughing. <gasps> Galarian Moltres again! You got the perfect box, mister. Oh! <laughs> that is for our friend Michael Cusick. How about that, Michael? That's like pulling the Charizard. Galarian Moltres and the Blaziken Alternative Art. Those are the two hottest cards in my opinion. And personally, I like the Galarian Moltres a little better. Let me mention, Mr. Michael, if you don't like Galarian Moltres, to definitely make a trade with me, because I'm definitely interested in one, okay? So if anyone pulls that Galarian and, and you decide you're not a big fan of Moltres, just let me know. We'll make a trade. Here's Deerling and Volcanion. I called it... Wow! <laughs> Volcanion. Woo! Do, 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 do. Here's Curly, y'all. She's so curly. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. All right. That was great. That was for Mr. Michael Cusick. And we see. Yes. Let's go find this bag. Oh, Michael. Oh, my. Michael, I didn't realize how strong and, and handsome you looked. <laughs> Better than Zard. It's a refreshing pull that isn't Charizard, but still quite valuable. There are a lot of Charizards out there. <laughs> Starting to think it's not as rare as we thought. Well, when it comes to modern cards, there's always an awful lot printed. All right. Normally, Michael Cusick donates his hollows. I will assume you're doing it this time, but I don't know for sure. If you mention that you want them, just let me know. That was great. Well, I'm glad we went live. That was awesome. And let me go ahead and refresh because we're all caught up. How many cards in to dare? Hotbox. That's right. It's a hotbox. James O is here. What are you doing up so late, James? It's Monday. <laughs> Joshua says, that's a big bag. Yeah, he's got a big, and it's all hits too. That's the funny part. He removes all his hollows. And so that, that thick bag is just his hits. Okay, so, Devin Kawamura, he says, please send my Rayquaza EX CGC Tier 1 and open a Hidden Fates. You got it. So, the nice thing about tonight, probably not that long of a wait time. Probably a short wait line. Uh, wait time. I'm trying to say wait line. You ready? Devin Kawamura. Oh, shiny. Oh, look at that. That's a great pack, man. Liking it. Boop. So there's Charizard. And here's Swablu. Kaka! Swablu's shiny Swablu from the set is so cute. That's for Devin Kawamura. Now, Devin, I would have put you, yeah, off to the side. Now he says, send my Rayquaza CGC tier one. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Place those in there. I'm preparing to make a deal for a lot of card graders for like $7,000. And it's with the manufacturer in China. I'm just a few button clicks away from finishing that deal. And then they will probably arrive close to a month later. So it'll be a long time. But they will arrive probably about a month later. And then we will have card graders available again. I had a lot of people saying, hey, where's the card graders? I want to buy some more of them. 
Mister, is there any scam protection in that transaction? There is not. So if you're, and a lot of people don't understand this. Same with the uh, Sonic Tech, uh, Sonic Welder. So I wired $10,000 over to the Sonic Welder guys. And now I just have to hope that I'm getting what I paid for. It's not like buying something from Walmart. And with the Chinese manufacturers, it's the same deal. They could send me some crappy, terrible product or maybe just not at all. And I don't really know how I would get my money back. So people forget that to do a little business operation, there's some risk involved, you know, it might go wrong and all that money might be lost, but maybe it won't go wrong. Hopefully it won't go wrong. Oh man, look at that. Man, that's pretty. Andrew Martinez, five blue sky stream and a new bag. This is my first order. How's it going, Andrew? Mr. Andrew Martinez, you didn't very long at all, did you, for your order? Yeah, short line tonight. And that is because it's more like this morning. <laughs> Might wait for TCC grading to get card. I open here graded just so, just so they are 100% TCC authentic. <laughs> Sounds good. Sneak. Well, the scary part is I wired over that $10,000 and they haven't even confirmed that they received it, but I figured it, that's because it's it's Saturday, Sunday, right? So it's the weekend. I wired it over Friday evening. So hopefully they communicate something today. <laughs> Cold. Next, you need to make your own TCG. I know. I talked about wanting to do that. Here's Ray Quaza. Ooh. I'm just gonna make a TCG with sexy anime girls. That's it. There's there's nothing else to it. Just sexy anime girls. I'll do this. I'll do sexy and I'll, I'll hire commission an artist, and they'll draw 800 sexy anime girls, one for every Pokemon, and they'll wear a Pokemon outfit. <laughs> All right. So this goes to our friend, Mr. Andrew Martinez. Friday evening is probably Saturday. AM for them. What? Can I be a sexy bearded anime girl? Mr. Read description. You messed up your Twitter link. Read description. You messed up your Twitter link. Okay. Thank you. Good to know. You know, if you're the first person to notice that it's been messed up, uh, and it's been messed up for a while, then that is good evidence that nobody is using the Twitter link and that I could probably just remove it. Let's see, Twitter. Oh yeah, there's a little A in there, isn't there? Let's see what happens when I copy and paste it. You're the first person to mention that it doesn't work. Well, if you Google search it, it kind of works. Let me go ahead and update it by removing the letter A. All right, there we go. Hmm. Man, see, I wonder if people don't even use that Twitter link. What's the point of having the link to it? You know what I mean? All right, back to the PayPal's. We got an order for Jack Gray. He says, give me that towering perfection snipe. Okay, this is for Jack Gray. Where's my free Charizard? Sniff. There we go. Ah, darn it, it's a cold one. Sweet. Michael LaPrevote, he says, gym challenge first. Oh, snap. <laughs> That's a big one. All right. We're adding someone to the box break for the gym challenge. And it's Mr. Michael. Holy moly. Mr. Michael LaPrevote. Is that right? Welcome to the box breaks, mister. You're number nine. And, uh, you know, the next round of the large will bring us up to number 10. So we're moving. We're done with it over a quarter. Yeah. Actually, number nine would bring us right over a quarter, right? So we're done selling off a quarter of the box. Next up, we'll be approaching selling half of the box. I'm impressed, Mr. Michael, and I can't wait to find what everyone pulls. Now, the way it works... 
We'll be carefully, so first we'll shuffle up the names and then we'll carefully hand out everyone their pack. So it'll be totally random. And what'll happen after that is uh, we will weigh everyone's pack very carefully to find out if you have a heavy pack or if you have a light pack. If you have a light pack, you do not have to get open first. We will open 12 heavy packs before we touch any of the light packs. We'll try to open 12 heavy packs and we might pull 12 hollows. This will give people with the light packs the option to leave their pack sealed if they just wanna do a pack grade. Now, you can always open the pack because you might pull some cool card out uh, or maybe you just want the fun of opening a pack no matter what. Uh, but So you can leave it sealed and then attempt to grade it or hold on to it and let it get older, whatever it is you wanna do. So that's how we do our box breaks. The goal is to maximize profit for the people opening them. When that happens, do you make a video out of it? Of course. Of course, the box break gets its own live stream. Okay, let's see. We got Troy Broughton, Broughton. Full box of Chilling Rain. First purchase, a bag, please, mister. Full box of Chilling Rain. That doesn't look right. Give me a second. Give me a second. I don't think you paid for that, right? <clears throat> Did he? No, he did not. Okay, so I'm a Mr. Mr. Troy. I'm guessing you used a, an international currency and you didn't realize that I'm selling these in US dollars. Yes, you're from the UK, so you, you, you likely used the pound, right? Let's find out the difference. Is the pound represented as GDP? Hold on. Pound a dollar. <laughs> All right, and... I'm gonna help you out. So you sent me $182 or 132 pounds. Does that make sense? Actually, you know what? I don't think that makes sense either. Yeah, he would have overpaid. It's GBP, I see. Hold on, let me turn this off. So something must have happened. He must not have known how many packs were in a box, maybe. Maybe he thought there were 30 packs in a box or something like that. Let's see. Let's try 130 divided by 6, see what we get. Maybe he thought a box had like 22 packs in it or something like that. That must have been it. So a box actually has um, it has much more packs than that. It has a total of 36. What I can do for you, if you'd like, Mr. Troy, I can open up 22 packs for you. Would you like that? I'll show you how much that is. So 22 packs would look something like this. I think this is about 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's 18. 19, 20, 21, 22. So I can open up 22 packs for you, and it would look kind of like that. That's more than half a box. Now, if you want, you could add the remaining, I believe it's like $30. Minus 182. So there's a $34 missing. And that would equal 24 pounds sterling. So if you added 24 more pound, I can get you a sealed box, which looks like this. This is a sealed box. I will send the extra immediately. Okay, so we'll, we'll put this box aside for you. This will be your box. And when that clears, I will go ahead and toss that in there. And then you'll have a bag on the table, too. How cool will that be? I need to go back in here. <laughs> you never know. The funny thing is, these might have been the hotter packs, but you won't know that until those get opened. <laughs> All right. So Mr. Troy's bag is just waiting. Mr. Troy's box. And in the meantime, well, you are the last guy. So actually, I'll do a quick refresh. You might not have to wait at all. Very short line, because there's not as many people tonight. <laughs> You're buying from England. The shipping will be more than the actual cards. That's not true. Shipping is $14, and shipping for his bag, uh, yeah, it'll be $14. He's good. Troy's getting it, Gordy. <laughs> Remember, Gordy's not in this set. Gordy will be in the next one, Evolving Skies. How much for a whole Blue Sky stream box? There's no more Blue Sky stream boxes. We are sold out, and we're opening the final box right now. To give you kind of some perspective, 
on how much Blue Sky Stream we opened. Um, so, let me show you something. So this is the pile of Towering Perfection. And it used to reach up to here. And we had a box of Blue Sky Stream, like this. And it reached, it, it used to be just as high up. Oh, here we go. See, there's even more of this. There we go. There's two more boxes of Towering Perfection. Because we had so much of it. We had an equal amount of Blue Sky Stream. And we're sold out now. Because all anyone wanted to open was the Blue Sky Stream. Nobody wanted to open the Towering Perfection. Towering Perfection. So that was why that first night, uh, Blue Sky Stream was $8. Because that was all people were willing to open. They wouldn't open anything else. GDP is showing $31. Is that right? Well, it should be 24.69, I believe. 24.69. I just rounded down from, for you to be nice, I believe. Should be 24.69, though. Yeah, that's exactly what it came out to be. 24.69.34. I don't know. Exchange rates change all the time, I suppose. <clears throat> we do have another order for Ruben Aguilar. He wants two McDonald's and a Lost Under and a Towering Perfection. Okay, we could do that while we wait. Here are your two McDonald's. Two McDonald's, one Lost Thunder, and one Tower in Perfection. <clears throat> Here we are. Should all be with you. Sounds good. Are you excited? I'm excited. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sleep. Sleep. All right, pack number one. Piplup. Look at that Piplup. He's just pipping along. Piplup never did anything wrong. There you go, Piplup. Pack number two. He's got a little wink. Oshawott. All right, Oshawott in your other McDonald's pack. There we go. Now, Towering Perfection is cold. And Lost Thunder is also cold. I'm sorry. Whew. Those McDonald's packs are nice because you always get a pull from the McDonald's packs. Guaranteed pull. Uh, that's for Mr. Reuben. Oof, I almost coughed there. <laughs> Talking too fast. Mr. Reuben. All right, and after Reuben, we have Kyle Foster. Three Japanese Lost Thunder. First time breaking with you, Kyle Foster. All right, sounds good. So Kyle's got three Lost Thunders. Kind of funny, you guys both bought Lost Thunder. Yeah, Lost Thunder is a top choice right now for me because it's got Lugia and Suicune in it, and they pull fairly fre frequently. And for Rose Hollow, they're in this set, and there's not a lot of other cards in this set. Oh, but you pull nothing but cold ones. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Those are some cold cards. I'll toss you a pity pull since it's your first time. Let's get you an Espeon from EV Heroes, and you'll get a fresh bag. Nice to meet you. Oof, says Tyler. I know. That's an oof. All right, Kyle Foster. It was only three packs, though. And he pulled a hollow. There we go, Mr. Kyle. You go in the K box where we have plenty of room for you. K box is not too full. Don't say Tyler's name while I'm in the stream. It hurts me. What? What are you talking about? All right, so now we're refreshing, and I'm sure we'll see that uh, payment for Mr. Troy. Mr. Troy. have another order you know what let's do Troy's first so Troy says additional chilling rain box payment so mr. Troy said I'll get a whole box of chilling rain you've got it mr. Troy let's see what happens all right a whole box just for you just for little old you Oops. 
making the whole table shake. That is a whole booster box of cards. Pretty fantastic. All right, you ready? <laughs> if this box isn't spicy, it's wigged. That's right. What? <laughs> See, all boxes are pretty spicy. Boxes tend to have some kind of spice. I guess in theory, you could get like the worst box, right? <laughs> Maybe some useless trainer and all the lame Pokemon. So worst case scenario happens to someone, but not Troy. Certainly not Troy. I would never. Pokemon RNG would never. Snip. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab all these. And we'll grab all these. Trainers can be cool though. That's true. Trainers can be cool. How full is the large? It's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close to the end. It could end this live stream. People are scared to buy into the large. They know their odds are small, one in 19, and they know those 40 bucks are pricey. I don't blame them. But the pull is hot. $760 booster pack in the box break, which would be amazing. Sleep. 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 All right, we got you all sneeped. Your packs are ready to go. Here it goes. What's up, Packology? So you got Clara, Raboot, put Raboot over there. Oh, right off the bat, Fog Crystal, you did it, yay! Fog, uh, Fog Crystal Ultra Rare is not what you want to pull because it replaces a better pull, in my opinion. But we'll see, the box could still be hot. So here's Cresselia. Here's Porygon 2, Agatha, and Lipard. Oh, my. What do you guys think the best V card in this set is? Celebi, maybe? Celebi might be the best V. Okay, we've got Whirlipede. Codes! I want the codes! Mommy's not sharing the codes with me for free! Mom! Okay, move that bulk out of the way. We used to have a lot of kids come on this stream and beg for codes, but we don't get as many so, so much these days. Codes! Codes! Mom, he's not even sharing the codes. I hate him. Here's Karen's Conviction. I hear this is a giveaway channel. Mom! <laughs> did he get the whole box? He sure did. He got the whole box. We got crushing gloves. Oh, so that's a good VMAX. We got Celebi VMAX. Looking like a big old Celebi. But mom! <laughs> I opened three Hidden Fate tins a few days ago, and on my first pack, I got a secret rare. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, there's Blitzel. Here's Calabo Puss, Swirlix, Caitlin, and Volcanion. So the first half of the box is the Fog Crystal half. Let's see what's in the second half of the box. Did alternative artists used to have an A on them? Sometimes. Just depends on what you're talking about. But not all of them. No, you're talking about... Wait a second. You're talking about... Um, those were like promos. You're thinking of promo cards. Here's Cobalion. All right, here we are. We've got Sandaconda, trust in me. Straight out of Disney Jungle Book. He's gonna use Hypnotize on you. 
Okay. There's Santaconda. Ralts and Sloking. Ooh. Seville. Seibold. Look at that Seibold. Caitlin and Calyrex. Oh, my. Look at that Calyrex. So lots of V's and V maxes. That's pretty standard. We're looking for another uh, sort of like hot pull, like the fog crystal. We're hoping there's two in this box. The modern sword and shield boxes do tend to have two or more, but some do not. It is possible for that to be the one hot pull. Hopefully not. Getting closer to the end though. Here's cast form. Getting nervous. Pianya. That's the card cheese wants. Here's Santa Conda V. Uh-oh, you're getting closer. Getting closer. There's still time. Could be the very last pack. Don't give up. Could be this pack right here. Could have a hot pull. Happens all the time. Let's see what's next. Here's Lycan Rock. Here's Mary. Here's Sneasel. All right, two packs remain. Tapu Finny. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, no! <laughs> it is a perfectly cold box. So sorry, Mr. Troy. Oh, boy. What a stinker. All right, let me scoop all this off. Yeah, that's a tough pull, man. It's a tough box, I mean. So let's go over the pulls. The Fog Crystal Box is what you pulled. So you got your lovely Vs and Vmaxes. Those are pretty standard. All boxes get Vmaxes and Vs. See, so you got Santa Conda, Calyrex, Volcania, Lyperd. Nothing too surprising there. Your Vmaxes are Santa Conda and Celebi. Nothing too surprising there either. Uh, the Celebi is really nice. The Fog Crystal is your hit. But the problem with the Fog Crystal is it's a trainer card. And trainers tend not to do as well as Pokemon or like people, you know what I mean? Like actual uh, characters. So those tend to not do as well. You got a big thick pile of hollow cards. Um, these will make your bag a little heavier, uh, but you're not over the eight ounces, so you're good there. You can have all of these and not worry about that. And you just got a tough box, man. I'll toss in this Galarian Moltres as a bonus. There you go. So you have a bonus V card. And we'll go ahead and get you a fresh bag for the table. Welcome, mister. <laughs> Woo! Welcome to Pokemon cards. It's kind of like playing the slot machine, Mr. Troy, but you probably already knew that. Kind of like playing the slot machine. Some people roll hot, some people roll a fog crystal. Now, the best case scenario, your fog crystal, you get it graded, and then it grades, you know, maybe it grades 10, and then you sell it for a maximum amount, which might be between $75 and $100. That's my guess especially with the price of grading changing these days. And uh, yeah, it's just not ideal, is it? <laughs> Troy, I think you'll fit in the tee box, right? The tee box full? You're going up top in the tee box. How much is the last 22 packs of Rainer? How many are left in total, mister? How many do I have left in total? Uh, I can get you another box right now if you wanted. That's the second box of Chilling Rain, sealed. So you can have as much as you want, Mr. Troy. Troy, if you're like me, you're probably going, that's not going to do it for me today. I got to get some hot. But be careful. You could pull cold again if you go deeper. Michael Lapravote says, 10 shining fates. I feel really good. All right. So, Mr. Michael. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before we do Michael, we've got an Alexio Alvarez. He says, let me get one of the ghostly woasties from the past. All right. So, we'll get Al Alexis. I'm sorry. Alexio Alvarez. When I was younger, I knew an Alexis. See. Hello, I'm new here, and I have a question. What's your question? So we got Sunseed, Sunvine, Lava Lol, Hieratic Seal, and Sunvine Thrasher. I'm sorry, Mr. Alexio, no hit. Did you guys see the Ghost Rare Dark Magician, who's currently $3,000 in auction? That's really impressive. Very impressive. So now we move on to Michael Lapravote. He wants 10 Shining Fates. You got it. 
Mr. Michael, 10 shining fates. Give me a minute. Get your fresh box. Ooh. Here we are. Mr. Big Box Break scheduled for October. The day after celebrations is released, get ready for Pokies to stonk again. I heard about that. You know, I don't, I don't know if they'll stonk again, though. Because really the reason they were stonking is because of the celebrity power of Logan Paul. So that was what was happening there. Logan Paul got into Pokemon cards, and a lot of people went, oh, some big-name people are investing huh so if something happened like let's say pewdiepie stepped in and said hey i want to collect pokemon cards that would be a stonk moment but everyone already knew that you know gary was collecting pokemon cards that's not necessarily a stonk moment gary teased that a lot of big names will be there oh okay well maybe the reason he teased is because nobody's confirmed and he's hoping by saying that that people will say they will be there. But you know, again, if it's like Lean Hard, if it's uh if it's like Lean Hard or some of the other popular Pokemon card YouTubers, that won't necessarily raise the value of Pokemon cards. It will probably just keep them about where they're already at. But what would change is if a celebrity joins, somebody who has a really large following, and that, that celebrity says, you know what, I'm investing in Pokemon cards now that would probably cause the price of cards to jump again. Okay, this is for our good friend, Michael Laprevote. Good luck, Michael. We got Silicobra. Look at him, he's so cute. Is that legal to be this cute? We need Elon Musk to tweet for us. That's right. If Elon Musk said Pokemon cards looking like a good investment, uh, <laughs> it would go crazy. But I don't think that will happen either. Elon Musk is not into Pokemon cards. It's obvious he's not a Pokemon card collector. One of the boxes is the first edition box from Dumb Money, apparently. Yeah, the one, the uh, the replacement box. I heard about that. Yeah. The replacement box after the deal went bad. Here's Silicobra. All right. Here's a double hit. Grimmel Snarl. Okay, we got a Grimmel Snarl. And the Coomed Out Eyes Trainer. She's been getting that good dick. All right, go ahead and put that there. Did I miss on any hits? Here's Trap Inch and Cram o -Ron. Cram it. We gotta do some different music soon. Coomed Out Eyes Trainer. All right, we've got Dragapult. Look at that Dragapult. Now he's a bit off center, so he is gonna get one of these deck sleeves, because I know he probably won't get graded. Did TCC ever get licensed to get cards from a distributor? I have not. I do not get cards from a distributor. It is harder than it looks, guys. Effectively, I'm just a guy in my basement selling cards, so I do not, they do not want to treat me like a card store, and it's not that easy. All right, here's Cramorant and... Rillaboom. Mom. There we go. Mister, what about Mr. Beast? Mister, curious about your thoughts on what you would need to happen at the box break to trigger Pokies to stonk again. Well, I just said. Basically, you need a guy with a lot of celebrity behind him to say, hey, I'm getting into card uh, collecting, card investing. And if he said that, that would definitely make the card stonk some more. But, you know, I don't think that that will happen overnight. I think for that to happen, the cards will already have to have been going up in price, which is what happened before Logan Paul joined. So before Logan Paul joined Pokemon card collecting, um, the cards were already going up in price pretty dramatically. I would know because I was collecting at that time. And so they were going, they were like doubling in price. And then he, he probably looked over and he said, you know, I think that's actually an opportunity. And he joined. And cards have since declined a little bit. I think that makes sense, you know, because really what happened, for those of you who weren't 
uh, there. So they were they were climbing in price, and then Logan Paul joined, and they jumped. So here they are. They're moving up, and then they jumped real heavy when Logan Paul joins, and he does his box breaks, and they get millions of views. So they jump up here, and now we're past to April, and the cards have sort of done this. So the cards have come back down. Some of the cards like Charizard, oops, can you see that? Some of the cards like Charizard have come down much more than that. And the question is, where do they go from here? Do they shoot back up? Like, will it, will it do this? Will they kind of curve back up? Uh, could they even do this if another celebrity joins? Maybe. So if another celebrity uh, entertains that cards are really nice, of course, it could do the opposite. Maybe the cards start to lose value and all the people who are in a Pokemon card say, Pokemon are shit, I'm never collecting again. And maybe they'll like do this slowly. I don't think it would happen overnight, but maybe they decline real slowly over time. Uh, but yeah, so they, they went really high, especially during the stim checks. So the stim checks came out, suddenly everyone had cash to spend, and the cards inflated in price. So this is for our friend Michael Laprevote. Let's go find your bag, Mr. Michael. Michael, where would we have put a Michael Laprevote? We got Matthew. Here we go. Here's Michael. I really don't think about timing the market. I'm just buying all the time. I picked up a new card today. Also, I don't talk about the cards I buy anymore because I don't want I don't want my audience to affect how hard it is for me to get more of that particular card anymore. So I rarely talk about what I'm buying. You guys will notice like on TikTok, you'll notice I open booster packs, but I don't actually show off uh, PSA cards that often anymore. So you don't know what I buy anymore. And it's because I'm worried you guys are going to go copy me and make the that particular collection go up in price. And I don't want that. So we have Oscar Robles. He says, live shipping, just in case I have graded card in my bag, my mailing address. All right, sounds good, Mr. Oscar. Mr. Oscar, where's Mr. Oscar? Mr. Reed Chat. Mr. Reed, is Jufu in his comment? Is Jufu is accusing you? How's it going, Mr. Jufu? Michael Jordan to open the packs. Kim Kardashian sleeves them. Justin Bieber to put them in card savers. Stonks. All right, guys, tell me what's going on. Does that mean I can't ask you whether I should grade my Ditto VMAX? Here, let's keep looking for Oscar. Here we go, Mr. Oscar Robles. Oscar Robles. Can you ship my bag, please? Is Giovanni Castillo. How's it going, Mr. Giovanni? Here's Giovanni's bag. Yeah, I can get you shipped. Absolutely. So, give me a minute. I think you are fairly new, so let me go find your address. It's Giofu. He said he got live shipping, and you ain't seen it. Oh, my bad. All right, give me a minute. Let me turn this down a little bit. So I just got to find an instance of your orders, and then I'll go get the label made. Oh, man, I shouldn't. Oh, God damn it. I shouldn't have turned the volume down. There we go. Because <laughs> that stupid volume thing hides the menu. All right. I'm going to go look your address up right now. <laughs> Mr. Giovanni, I got an address that starts with 1-4. And here's your email. And print. All right. Oof. Trent says, I'm dead. Geo, don't buy from him anymore. Ah, oh, Trent, that's not very nice. All right. So, after Giovanni, I'm going to go ahead and put Giovanni's address away and continue to help Mr. Oscar Robles. Just in case I have a graded card in my bag. Sounds good, Oscar. Well, I'll, I'll be sure to check for any any graded cards for you. Oscar, have we shipped you before? Let's go grab Mr. Oscar's address. 
What am I stuck on? Am I stuck on a blanket? All right, so give me a minute. I'm going to live ship Mr. Oscar now. Oscar Robles. And I'll grab this email. There we go. And print. Here we go. Print. Woo! All right, Mr. Oscar. And don't worry, I will check up for a label. I'm sorry, not a label, a graded card. Woke up this morning to a notification saying you're live. WTF? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Oscar. And we'll put this over here. Whoop. Who's next after Oscar? Oh, I got to refresh. Give me a minute. Mr. Do you have Scooby-Doo cards? That's right. Ruby dooby doo. I do not. <laughs> I do not. Andrew Martinez is next. He says, I'll do five more Blue Sky Stream. Sounds good, Mr. Andrew. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. For Mr. Andrew Martinez. Sneep. Mr. Do you have any CGC slabs? Do I have any CGC slabs? I have lots of CGC slabs, mister. All right, you got the Salamis Hollow. That's really nice. We got Trevenant. Look at this Trevenant. Next pack. Cold. Cold. And Victini. Mikey says, why your breath stink? Oh, that's not appropriate. Oh. So, Andrew, I'm going to go ahead and put these into your bag, Mr. Andrew. TCC, the ultimate mod. I'm the super mod. Don't forget, guys, I'm the number one original moderator. We'll put this up here. Next up, we got Ruben. Ruben says, one lost thunder. You got it, Mr. Ruben. Let's put another shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> All right, Ruben. You pulled John Pluff. And look at this non-hollow Umbreon. Why don't you take that home with you too? Baker asks, how much shipping to the Netherlands? Uh, it'll be $14 US dollars to ship to the Netherlands. Mr. Ruben with an R. Ruben, where's Ruben's bag? We put you in the overflow, right? Here we are. Woohoo! Nicholas Jarek, who says, I'm Sci Fi Fox on YouTube. I'm the one that asks how much a box of Blue Sky Stream would be. I have a bag, and he would like two Blue Sky Stream. Well, that's okay. You don't need a whole box, you'll snipe in two packs. All right, here goes. Snip. All right, Nicholas. Oh, I wasn't even wrong. Nicholas, you do snipe in two packs. Look at that. There's Ray Quaza. Woo. Wow. So easy, man. Mr. Nicholas, you make it look easy. What was your trick, Nicholas? Timing the market? <laughs> Predicting the future, Nicholas? Congratulations, Mr. Nicholas, on your full art secret rare Rayquaza. Now we have Sully Schlegel. What's up, Big Mac? He says, give me two of those evolutions and a hidden face, please. Wow, that's a really big and risky order. Let's see how it plays out. So here are your evolutions. I just got off probation. I want to smoke, but don't want to stress over random pee tests at work. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Imagine having to take a drug test. 
it makes sense for some jobs. Let's say you're operating like a machine. That's one thing. But like, let's say you just work some office job or something. That doesn't make sense to me. All right. Sleep. Where do I get my packs from? I get them from Kmart.com. Don't forget to visit. All right, so here we go. Magnemite Seal Charmander. Here's Kakuna and Raichu. Look at this executor. Okay, we got three pulls in this pack. We've got the Kakuna. Kakuna actually looks pretty clean, but I don't think I've ever been asked to grade a Kakuna. Here's Raichu. Raichu looks really nice, but he does have a print line. Here we go, Raichu. And here's Executor. Executor is clearly a little off-center. All right, pack number two. In pack number two, you pull Dodowo. Looks like pack number two is going to be Dodowo Hollow. How to get Pikachu VMAX. He's going to be in uh, Vivid Voltage, okay? Pikachu VMAX is in Vivid Voltage. Hey, mister, I just got my money, says Dream Dream. Sounds good, Dream Dream. What do you mean by that? <laughs> and Jigglypuff. Ah, man, Sully, no crazy luck this time. No crazy luck on those packs this time. I'm sorry, Sully Schlegel. Sergio, SC Gaming, Salvador, Sully Schlegel. No crazy luck. Your best pull is probably the, uh, probably this Raichu here. He looks really nice. He was an undercover beggar, would give and then ask for it back. What? Mr. On the news, they told me the virus was coming back with a vengeance. Should I listen to them? Oh, it was something about the Delta variants or something like that. I don't think it affects people who have had the vaccine shot. Okay, now we have Mr. Troy who does want the 22 packs of Chilling Rains. So I think what's going on here with Mr. Troy is he would like to know if these were actually hotter than his whole previous box. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then over here, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So these are those 22 packs that I initially showed off. And he's just curious because he wants to know if he would have gotten luckier with these packs. I think you have a shot because we know that your sealed box was actually cold. <laughs> They're saying there's a deadly fungus going around now. Uh-oh. You're just going to have to close down all churches and places of worship. It's too dangerous. No more Jesus. How's it going, TCC? Says Pogo Dad. Sleep. Gold incoming. Sleep. What do we got? We've got a sleep. <laughs> What's the best card from Silverlands? Hurry, get your fungus vaccine. We're just going to have to make a multi-billion dollar deal with the fungal cream companies that happen to sponsor our political campaigns. And our husbands, our husbands and our wives invest in them while we write the legislation. <laughs> As a kid, who was your celebrity crush? As a kid, I had no celebrity cut crush. And as an adult, I have no celebrity crushes. I have zero crushes and I never did. All right. Mister, my bank obviously doesn't understand my love for Pokemon cards. Can you tell me if Michael Lappervote went through for XY Evo? I will find out very soon, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lappervote. All right, so here we go. We got Flaffy Frostlass. Now, this is for Troy. He just had a tough box of, I'm sorry, of uh, Chilling Grain. There's so many names out there. And now he's opening up 22 packs that we had showed him earlier because he wants to see what his pokey fate would have been. And he's hoping that this will be better than last time, I'm sure. I am too. Here's a Galarian Moltres. Oh, caca. There we go. Galarian Moltres. Here's Aaron. Here's Lucky Energy Ingredient. Here's coughing. And Diglett. We've got Bond Sweet. All right, so far cold, actually. So far cold. What is your favorite Pokemon? Uh, that one. Here's Weeding. 
I get asked the same 10 questions. Where's your cards from? What's your favorite Pokemon? What's your most expensive card? Do you ever cut the cards? <laughs> Mister, who's your favorite waifu? Uh, my fa favorite waifu, huh? Good question, probably quick quick. So here's Cash Form and How to Read. Ooh. Riley Reed. Oh my god. Alright, Zapdos and Galeria Moltres so far. We got Drizzle. Here's Inke. Rugged Helmet. Porygon and Rune Rigus. Oh man. Cold so far. Cresselia Flannery. Deerling, oh man. Here's Metagross. Didn't Riley Reed get married though? She's married now. Misty or Brock? Definitely Brock. <laughs> All right, Metagross. Flannery. And Karen's Conviction. Woo! Loving it. Holy moly, Troy, you just kind of stepped in and pulled some cold ones right away. Pity packs. Yeah, so here's what we have left over here, Mr. Troy. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 packs over here, and I have a very good feeling that those are the hot ones, and you opened all the cold ones. Would you like me to hold those 11 packs to you? Uh, normally I don't allow that, but Troy, you're having such a cold streak. When someone has a really bad cold streak, I'll sometimes do something to help them out. So, uh, I can hold these for you if you'd like. I don't know how deep your pockets go, Troy. Maybe you're somebody who can just open two boxes of Pokemon cards that don't matter to you. Get this man's grave ready. He's sending the money. Is that what he said? I didn't actually see. So it's one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven more packs. He's sending now. All right, Mr. Troy. Woo! Tonight's the night, Troy. The truth is, Troy, you never get cold packs if you go deep enough. If you go super deep, you'll eventually pull everything. Christopher Lane says one unbroken bonds and four McDonald's. Okay. Where are my unbroken bands? Oh, you, I know what. We've got one up top. So why don't I grab the four McDonald's? Here they are. It's McDonald's. Troy versus Pokemon RNG. Fight. <laughs> K.O. You can't win if you don't play. How many Charizard cards do you have? See, if he doesn't get a hit, I'll sacrifice a hoops to the Alex gods. Maybe that was what went wrong today. There was no... Nobody cut any cards at all today. Here we are. Okay, so this is for Christopher Lanes. He pulls another fog crystal. <laughs> no, that would be terrible. Pity pull from Alex's bag. Oh, man. Here we are. Chico Rita. Sent, mister. Sounds good. And don't worry, nobody's going to touch these packs. They're yours now. So... We'll, we'll take care of the other people who are in line, though, because we don't want to have them waiting too long. Here's Torchic. Hi there. Love your content. Just stumbled upon you recently. Nice to meet you. Okay, here we go. That's Torchic. And... Whoop! Snivy! It's little Snivy. He's so cute. So cute. Little stinky Snivy. Now, how about the Unbroken Bonds? Can we get lucky? It's just a Clefable. Sometimes that's how it goes with the Unbroken Bonds. Unbroken Bonds is a pricier pack. Gives you a chance for Charizard Reshiram. People opened up a lot of Charizard and Reshiram's. Here's Christopher Lanes's bag. Mr. Christopher. My Caterpie, mister. What? What about your Caterpie? It can only get so hard. Rob Ryan. <clears throat> I have a bag, one custom, and one General Mills. You got it. So this is for Rob Ryan. Oh, doesn't want to come out. Just like just like his Caterpie. All right. Oh, it's Rainbow Rare Eternatus. That's kind of nice. All right, you got your Rainbow Rare Eternatus and your one General Mills, huh? All right. <clears throat> 
Agatha or Avery? Sneep. Mister, I think you need to send him a PSA 10, Sabrina's Gengar, for compensation. <laughs> Uh, only if they send me something when they pull hot. So I'll I'll send them. I'll compensate them when the uh, cold cards come out. If the guys who pull the hot cards send me some kind of compensation, <clears throat> and we'll call it pokey communism. Mister, please spank me again. All right, Pikachu coming out of General Mills. That's right. You get a hollow Pikachu in the General Mills packs. They're really quite lovely. That's for Rob Ryan. He says, I have a bag. Okay, Mr. Rob Ryan, let's go find it. Richard, Ruben, Ryan, Richard, Richard, lots of Richards, Russ, Ran, Ryan, Ricardo, Ryan, Raul, Ryan, Raul, Ricardo, another Ryan, Ryan, Rogelio, Rob Ryan. It's Rob Ryan. How's it going, Rob? Mr. Rob. <laughs> we were taking some bulk out of your bag just the other night. All right, here we go. With your lovely full art Mewtwo. What? That's a nice Mewtwo. Now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. I'm the gatekeeper to the Shadow Realm, says Mikey. Mikey. Mikey likey. All right, let's go ahead and reset. Whew. Let's see. Do do do. Do 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 do. <laughs> this music. Here we are. Alexio Alvarez would be next, and he wants a pack of Blue Sky Stream. So this is for Mr. Alexio. Mr. Alexio. Sleep. He pulls a cold one. I'm sorry, Alexio. Man, Alexio, you can't catch a break. Where's your snipe? Matthew Monchiello says, one live custom, two battle styles. Thanks. Okay, two battle styles. It's almost your turn again, Troy. And one live custom. Do, 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 do. Victini. Ah, man. That's just a Victini. He's kind of nice looking, though, isn't he? He's kind of a nice Victini. Can you put my your face on my profile? What? Is that like a... Sex solicitation? What just happened? Mr. Sneep is what? Will you just look at me in the queue so I don't get a fraud alert? Um, it says completed. So it says that the order went through on my side. Yeah, it does not say pending. Here's Crawdont and Cubone. Woohoo! For Matthew Mangiello. Every night I say I'm not going to buy anything. No, Matthew. <laughs> okay, so Matthew Mangia. Oh, you're right over here. Right next to Michael Cusick and his lovely Moltres. Sorry, Mr. Matthew Mangiello. You are going to pull the Galarian Moltres tomorrow night. I, I'm hungry, but it's 4 a.m. Pokey Stan is a Pokey Communism. We need Troy to take home some good pulls. Okay, there we go. Next up, we've got Jack Gray. Jack Gray says, one chilling rain. Okay, coming out of a fresh box, of course. Mister, you want to see my big, dark Gyarados? Um, what? <laughs> Only if you want to hold on to my Steelix. Let's, try, let's get Troy some good pulls. Well, this one's going to be for Jack Gray. So, Jack Gray, you have like a... Maybe like a 1 in 18 odds of pulling a hot one. Let's see what happens. Hey, look, it says UK right there. You pulled Calyrex. That's kind of a snipe, a little bit. It's a VMAX. It's kind of nice. Because some packs are purely cold, right? Okay. Now I just have to find Jack Gray's bag. You're in the overflow, I remember. Just memorize the location of every single bag on the table, right? Here we are. Oh, damn, that's a snipe. Is it? <laughs> it's definitely better than a cold pack. There we go. Mr. Jack. Now we have Michael Cusick. He says, thanks for the hot, chilling box, mister. Now I want five hot cosmic and would like to keep any Gardevoir hollow from earlier. Any Gardevoirs from earlier. Oh, I see what you're saying. 
So give me a minute. Any Gardevoirs. Here's a Gallade. Hmm, no, no Gardevoirs. Here's a Curlio. Mister, look at Fallout Ranger. I'm looking. What's going on? Fallout Ranger says, lol. You're back. Oh, you got... I see what you're saying. You got me as your PFP. You're funny, man. All right, so... Michael Cusick. Here it goes. Sneep. One, two. What do you do with the code cards? I give them to you, Vincent. Mister, what you doing with those codes? Now, hold on. I, I almost opened six. You only need five. Snip. All right. I'll put the others back in the box. See, I almost messed up there. I didn't count them. There we go. Five of them. For Mr. Michael Cusick. He said, I'm going to pull hot. You got Gallade. Hey, that's pretty close to a... That's pretty close to a Gardevoir. Now, you know, if you like Gardevoir, Steam Siege is the Gardevoir set, right? It's got a golden Gardevoir card in it. Here's Jangmo. Oh. Mom! Here's Rufflet. I'm going to need you to DM me those codes. Here's Nosepass. And Wishy Washy. All right. What a nice Wishy Washy. You got two of the trainer arts. How nice. Steam Siege, $1 Charizard. I'm going to need that Fortnite card back. <laughs> That's for Michael Cusick. Mr. Michael. Now, here's some hollows. I'll put those away. <laughs> What's the best pack for a Suicune? Right now, Shining Fates has a Suicune that's pretty valuable. However... There is also the Japanese Lost Thunder. This set right here will give you a hyper rare or full art Suicune or a Suicune GX. So if you're really just chasing the Suicune, you will find that Suicune the fastest by opening up Lost Thunder Japanese. You'll find it right away probably. Well, it depends on how many packs you open, but you know, he's he's quite common in there. Okay, now we've got Jesse Salinas, who wants three Chilling Rains, and after that is going to be Troy's turn again. Okay, here we go. Ask Cheese, how much is a Suicune? Sneak. Mister, I told my girlfriend I wanted to be Doug Trio for Halloween. She giggled and said, don't you mean Diglett? Oh, no, Smitty. Smitty, no! Here's Deli Bird. Del time to get a new one. Here's Lipard. Lipard Full Art. That's for Jesse Salinas. Imagine if that's all we pull out of these. <laughs> oh! oh! Jesse also pulling a Full Art Trainer. I'm sorry, Full Art Fighter Energy. It's a trainer. I'm such a goof. That's a hot round there, Jesse Salinas. J.E. Let's go find your bag. Now, Jesse Salinas... Where did I see Jesse Salinas' bag last? I don't remember. That was a good round, Jesse. Oh, it's right here. Mr. Jesse Salinas. Yes. Flash Fire or Evolution, tell me. Uh, you know, Flash Fire is really expensive for what you get. And Evolution is loaded with Charizards. So I'm going to say Evolutions because Evolutions gives you the Reverse Hollow and Hollow base set Charizard, but then you've still got the Mega Charizard Full Art, the Charizard EX Mega, and the regular EX Charizard. On top of that, you got you got Lilypad Mew, you've got Full Art Mewtwo, you got Full Art Dragonite, Full Art Venusaur, Full Art Blastoise, Reverse Hollow Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Charmander, Surfing and Flying Pikachu, um, Full Art Misty, Full Art Brock. There's uh, just way more cards in Evolutions than Flash Fire. And Flash Fire, by the way, already costs like, oh, like $100 a pack or something like that. You know what I mean? So I, I would go hands down with Flash Fire. You know, I, I'm sorry. I would go hands down with Evolution. What I meant was I would avoid Flash Fire. Yeah. 
So Jesse Salinas is all done, and Troy Botton says the 11 pox, packs of hot chilling rain. All right, so these are the 11 packs that you missed out from the earlier round. It's kind of like you buying two boxes. Let's see what this is like, guys. Now, Troy, I don't remember what the first few packs were like out of that box. Obviously, it was an open box, but I don't think we pulled any full arts. I don't think we did. If we did, someone can remind me, but I don't remember anything special coming out. So I think you've got a good shot here that these packs are hot. Sneak gold Snorlax? Now, don't forget, there's a lot of gold Pokemon in this set. He could get gold bronze on or gold electrode. You know what I mean? So let's see what happens. Here it goes. We've got Cub Fu and Calyrex. All right, it already paid for itself. I'm just kidding. Electrode looks cool. Troy, pack number two is Dyna Tree Hill, pack number three. Here is a Full Art Tornadus VMAX. Now that was the card you were looking for. You don't need to tell me, mister. I know your secret desires. Here is Urshifu. Cast Forms of Rude. Wow, we're already moving through this. Here's Kakuna. Thwacky. Oh, man. Come on. Don't do this to me. Tauros. Oh, my lord. Gardevoir. Hey, there's a Gardevoir. That's what the other guy wanted. Laron Lipard. What was that? Just a cold box? There's got to be a hit in the last pack. We didn't pull anything out of that box yet. It was a fresh box. Oh, see, there it is. There it is. You got Metagross Hyper Rare. Woo! I told you, we had not pulled anything out of that box, so I would have been surprised. I would have been really shocked if nothing had come out. There we go. I was My blood was going cold, man. I was like, did this guy get the fluke box? All right, so it's not necessarily a huge hit. It's not like, obviously, it's not like Galarian Moltres, but you did get a Hyper Rare Metagross, so congratulations on that. It, it's not another trainer. Could have been another trainer, right? <laughs> Woo! In the end, we realize why Michael Cusick's Galarian Moltres ends up being so costly. It's because you, you just don't pull them every box. You got a lot of cards now, Mr. Troy. You could probably get shipped out at that point. Do you have any... Do you ever cut the cards, says Brasman? Yes, that's right, every night. So next up, we got Bridget Baumiller. Hello, Bridget. Bridget would like a Silver Lance. And two Battle Styles. It's not too bad. Rainbow Metagross. Metagross. Dream, dream. He bought 69 packs. Two battle styles. If you can please, don't say my last name. You can say my first name, though. I have a bag. Oh, well, that's too late, Bridget. Uh, Bridget, I don't know if there's a particular reason why I can't say your last name, but that's just normal on this channel. We all got our last names, okay? So here we go. Do you think Evolving Skies will be the hottest set this year? Nah, probably not. Probably. This year? I see what you... Well... Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue. I have no clue. Bridget, I already said your name. If you look up my first and last name, you see exactly who I am, says Dream Dream. Oh, well, I'm going to go do that now. Bridget, let's go look at Bridget. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I found Bridget. All right, awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's get you some cards. Bridget, you too is you make it too easy, Bridget. <laughs> you're supposed to say something like you're supposed to say something like uh, I don't want to confuse people with my awesome name. So we'll go ahead and place these in the No way, Bridget is here. Bridget, you're a celebrity now. So two packs of battle styles. We've got Frillish and Ember! Ah, Bridget. Not too hot this time, okay? Bridget, you're just like my wife. My wife's the same exact way. She my my wife's my wife's family name is Druckenmiller. This really long, kind of strange last name. And so if you just get her last name, you can pretty much look her up. Although I think she removed all images of herself from the internet somehow, because she's good at that. 
And it's like she's she's concerned with people finding her on the internet. And I'm like, it's just okay. It's not that big of a deal. You know, you're just a person. And she's like, no, nobody can see me. <laughs> That's how she is. And it's weird because it's a certain, we had a, in school, we had one of our professors was exactly like that as well. He was like deathly afraid that people would find him on the internet. I'm like, I'm looking at you right now. You're here. <laughs> Yeah, he was real, um, there was a word for it. It's kind of like, um, I think the word's paranoid. So he was our professor in college. He was the best one too, by the way. He was the best professor for teaching computer science. And he was almost like paranoid that people would be able to find him on the internet. But I didn't understand it because it's like, you know, people see you in real life. You know what I mean? To be honest, people can be weird out there, says Tammy Lowe. Well, I do get that, but it's sort of, it's almost like, um, Nobody cares, you know what I mean, about you in particular. That is sort of thing like that. Like, I don't worry about being seen online. And I think I have a little bit of a following. And even I'm not that concerned, you know what I mean? It's, but, but you're right. Maybe, see, this is the debate my wife and I are always in. I'm like, I don't care. Who cares if someone sees me? Uh, but then she's like, no way. No one can see you online. You must hide everything. And I'm like, hide what? There's nothing to hide. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a very interesting thing. And again, uh, my professor was just like that. But there he is. He's right there teaching a bunch of kids. I, you know, we all see him. So I never understood it. Lord Voldemort said, might do it when I get to work and see what's going on. Might get in on something. Don't worry, Bridget. Us little people got to stick together. I'm four feet tall. <laughs> Open a pack of Candace. Oh, uh, what's Candace? All right, let's go ahead and jump back into the line and see if there's anything else to open. Told my girl if she's sleeveless, she's going to be ringless. What? All right. Next up, we have... Ruben Aguilar, one lost thunder, one towering perfection, and one Star Wars. All right, Star Wars. Here we are, Star Wars. This is for Mr. Aguilar. What's up, Aguilar? My old boss was four feet tall, and he smoked pot with, with the Snoop Dogg. Dream, dream, I added your dad. Do you think I should get one Japanese or two Korean boxes? Uh, the Korean boxes. Should we get some Korean cards over here? That'd be weird. That'd be interesting. That'd be new. There's some Russian cards, too. My wife's like, get the Russian cards. I better watch my back. I don't, I don't think I can go on vacation to Russia. So what do we got? We've got, oh, Star Wars. C-3PO. My wife finds the Russian accent very sexy. I've contemplated learning the accent just for her. Oh, you got the sexy booty card. That is the booty card. And the cartoon and this creepy little weird weasel guy. So this is a popular card on this live stream because it's got the booty in it. Here we go. Presumably what every fat guy in his mom's basement looked like watching porn on the internet. So... Mr. Ruben, let's see what else you got. You've got Suicune. Sweet. Somebody was just asking about Suicune. That's right. Suicune is in Towering Perfection as well. Should have mentioned that, shouldn't I have? That's what I look like, and I feel attacked. <laughs> all right, very good. That wasn't too bad of a round at all. That goes to Mr. Ruben with an R. Mr. Ruben in the R box, right? No, 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 in the overflow. There we go. My brain was like trying to tell me something. I'm like, what are you trying to tell me, brain? It said, don't look. All right, you got the booty card. Oh, snap. Am I allowed to show that on YouTube? Holy, that's not family friendly. Brandon Jarrett says, I'll take five super cold French fries from McDonald's. This is Pogo Dad. What's up, Pogo Dad? Pogo Dad, you've been around. I think you have. One, two, three, four, five. All right, Mickey D's. Okay, let's see what we got. Sneep. One, two, three, four, and five. Woohoo! 
can you help me find my dad? Says Jimmy Neutron. What? Am I allowed to trade Suicune in the Discord? You may not. Trading in the Discord is not a thing anymore. Here's Linton. Woohoo! You may list him for sale on eBay. What do we have here? We've got Squirtle. Wait, why did Linton get the nice sleeve? Wait, Squirtle should get the nice sleeve. He's actually good. There we go. What else? We've got Torchic. All right, Torchic. He's torturous. Q John Cena. You can't see me. If you're that paranoid, here in the car, the image breaks. I think it's. I think my wife likes feeling like she's anonymous. I think that's what it is. It's an enjoyable feeling of anonymity. And and then I say, nah, you can't be anonymous. And she's like, I don't like that. Far right, Poplio. Poplio, I don't agree with your political point of view. You go too far, Poplio. Please cross your what fingers for me. Suicune, uh, did he say Suicune in chat? I can smell your rotting flesh from here. What are you guys talking about? It's my birthday. Would you open a pack of voltage for me? All right, Mr. Samuel. All hail, Poplio. Three of those are new for me. I'll take it. Says Pogo Dad. How she delete pics on internet, mister? I don't know how she did it. But my wife managed to remove herself from the internet. So Brandon Jarrett. Brandon Jarrett, I'm going to get you a bag that says Brandon Jarrett on it. Mr. Brandon, welcome back, Brandon. Yeah, I don't want people knowing my real name is XXL Magnum CGC Perfect 10 Smitty. That's right. You're from India? All right. Brandon Jarrett. Do, 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 do. Hopefully nobody finds my real name. <laughs> Says Devin Hensley. <laughs> and this picture of me with my children on my PFP. <laughs> All right, now we've got Michael Lapravo. Hello, Michael. 10 Lost Thunder. Well, Michael's going deep, man. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Lost Thunder, the main poles in Lost Thunder are Lugia, Suicune, Tyranitar, Blacephalon, Shuckles in here, uh, and not a whole lot else. So your odds of a Suicune are always very high in this set. All right, here we go. Sneep. Shuckle, that's right. Lost Thunder is also a Shuckle set. You could pull Hyper Rare Shuckle in here. It's a, it's a real card. Cold. Pack number three. Also cold. Pack number four. Ente Hollow. Pack number five. Blacephalon. God damn it. <laughs> Blacephalon, turn yourself into a Suicune. Okay, there's Blacephalon. Here's Scissor. Cold. Still a chance. Shuckle! Oh, man, you pull Blacephalon and Shuckle. Maybe you get lucky and there's one more hit. Let's see. Cold. And it's Luzamine Prism Star. No Suicune in that round, Mr. Lapravote. It's probably in this round over here, mister. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. So we'll take your hollows. I'll give them a sleeve. My shuckle stays in the shell, mister. mister. Uh, you got a, a grower, not a shower or something like that. Mr. Michael. Where did we put your bag, Michael? Here we are. Mr. Michael. Goblins from Pokestan. He got Shuckle. Shuckle's the best one, actually. Shuckle's my favorite. Jacob Hill. Cut a hoops. Read chat. All right. Jacob Hill wants to cut a hoops. We are all sold out of hoops. And give me a minute. Let me go mark it as sold out.
Oh, I'm having a little heartburn, guys. Man, I need to go eat something. There we go. I'm having a little heartburn. Okay, so Mr. Jacob Hill says cut this. No cutting Kanye West. How many packs of Lost Thunder do you have left? Uh, a lot. If it's a hit, give it a smooch and put it in Alex bag, says Jake Hill. Sounds good. Oh, wait. Let me get the Great Destroyer out. <laughs> so these are our new super powerful scissors for cutting booster packs. Did you guys see me cut through a golden card, a metal card with this? So these are heavy-duty scissors, and I don't care what you try to cut. They're just going to cut right through it. There it goes. Pretty amazing. So, if it's a hit, he says, put it in Alex's bag. I think that's Lamella Ball. Let's just see. Cut a Lamella Ball. And an Anthony Davis for the Lakers. Lamella Ball cut once again. Is LaMelo Ball still valuable? Everyone was like, get LaMelo, pull LaMelo. That is the third LaMelo Ball we've cut on this stream. LaMelo every time. There we go. What do you guys think? Is LaMelo Ball still really good? He might not be with how common he is. Common? No, no, no. He's not that common. Is, he's not common at all. They just keep cutting exactly LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball shows up like every couple booster boxes, and every single time they happen to cut him. LaMelo Ball. There you go. Third one. Jesus Christ, dude. Amputated LaMelo. But he is not common. That is not true. All right. And now we refresh. Alex says, yay! Mr. Murder, grade him cut. What do you guys think of those new scissors? Ooh, scary, man. These scissors will cut right through any pack you ask me to cut. Even though it still takes a lot of energy to cut through it, because it's like, cardboard gets really thick. Oops, it's awesome. My wife's awake. BME Pain Olympics? What? Okay, so this is going to be... We've cut through $101 now. Wow. Those things look like hedge trimmers. They're apparently capable of cutting through metal, like wires and stuff like that. That's the point of them. Not through cutting, not for cutting through Pokemons, but I suppose we could do that anyways. ME Olympics are disgusting. Fiskars are weed scissors. ME Olympics. What is it talking about? So, after Jacob Hill, we have Miss Bridget. She says, you pick two battle styles and one McDonald's or three battle styles. Bad at making choices. I have a bag. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a decision for you, though. A uh, decision for you, then. I'm going to do the one McDonald's. I actually like the McDonald's a lot because it always gives you a hollow card. And all those hollow cards from the McDonald's set are gradable. So, I think the McDonald's cards are actually very undervalued at the moment. And one day, the McDonald's cards will no longer be very cheap. So we're going to do the one McDonald's and the two Battle Styles. Here we go. Fisker's got 100% warranty. Really? Perfect scissors to trim your growing bud? What? <laughs> How many Battle Styles do you have? Oh, I got plenty of Battle Styles. All right, you got Score Bunny. He's the new guy, right? He's from this uh, generation, Generation 8. All right, score bunny. Now you also pull Tapu Bulu and Corviknight. All right, Corviknight as well. Corviknight and score bunny. <laughs> this card's from China. Oh, man. <laughs> Chinese counterfeit. Maybe I should... Uh... <laughs> Maybe I should order some Chinese counterfeit cards and just offer them for sale. Like you can buy them for your kids or something like that. <laughs> All right, Miss Bridget. It's funny, your, part of your last name is Miller, just like my wife. Her last name is Drucken Miller. I sent in 10 used Fiskars. Can I see the other McDonald's cards in my bag, please? It says Dream Dream. 
Uh, I don't know who you are, Dream Dream. I don't know your I don't know your bag name. Michael Lapravot says ten lost thunder, please. Okay, is that ten more lost thunder? It is. It is ten more lost thunder. So give me a second. We got one, two, three, four, five. That's five. Jump over here. Oof. There we go. Can't believe we have 175 people watching. Really crazy. One, two, three, four. There we go. Sweet. Whatever happened to Troy? Troy had a tough night, I think. I think he pulled uh, two cold boxes, but actually the Metal Gross box isn't that bad. But the first box was definitely cold. So he had, um, he didn't have a huge hit. I really appreciate all the cards he opened. It's, it's very entertaining. It's very fun. And I'll be getting him shipped out anytime he wants to ship out. Or maybe he wants to open a few more. I don't know. Maybe he wants to open a few more. That'd be cool. All right, here goes. Cold. Dream Dream says I'm Bridget. Oh, okay. Give me a minute. So Bridget wanted to see what's in her bag. We got Corviknight, Score Bunny, Drampod, Tapabula, Ambor, Frillish, Chespin. So Chespin is the other McDonald's card you had in your bag. There's a whole bunch of cards in the McDonald's set. It's all the starter Pokemon. So you can collect them all. All right, back to it. Here we go. So this is for Michael Lapravote. Michael, you've got the Nihiligo Hollow. Here's Naganadel Hollow. Cold. John Pluff Hollow. You're pulling all the hollows, that's for sure. Cold. Scissor VMAX Hollow. And. Wow! Perfectly cold for Michael Lapravote. Wow, Michael, that's like a. A perfect mind sweep you've done there. That's terrible, man. That is terrible. I tell you what, Michael. Because I like you so much, I'm going to get you one bonus pack of Lost Thunder. Because I know you're looking for that Lugio. Suicune, I mean. Now, if this is Suicune, uh, it goes to you. If it's Lugia, it goes to me. And it's neither. It's a cold pack. Woohoo! I am very sorry, Mr. Michael of Lapravote. I never said that pulling any Pokemon card was easy. Just keep that in mind. But Suicune is in there, and he shows up very often in Lost Thunder. So if you were dead set on pulling a, a Suicune, that would be the set. There's a hyper-rare Suicune in there as well. I'm so sorry, Michael. All right, let's refresh. We got 190 viewers at like 5 a.m. in the morning. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Speaking of which, we're approaching two hour mark. I think we will wrap up at the two hour mark because I'm going to start shipping. I like my pulls, mister. No problem. All thanks. So we have an order for Ruben Aguilar. He says one McDonald's and one Star Wars. All right. So you'll have to give me a minute. I need to get a fresh box of the McDonald's. I already have one ready. I'll need to go looking for it though. So give me a minute. Because it's not in here. Right. I'm here and I've got the McDonald's. Let me go close my door. Whew. Oops. I'm on trip. Oh. And here we are. Ha ha. <laughs> like 20 people left. 
because I had to stand up and get more McDonald's. You guys are too funny. Okay, Mr. Rubin. If I send an order, can you fill it before you get off? Yeah, absolutely. No problem, mister. We're just going to give one. What? I didn't get to see the rest of that. Yeah, I haven't called no more orders. You guys can keep ordering. Okay, here we go. Only hot Star Wars for you. Why does it take eight to nine months to be born, but we have to wait 12 months for our birthday? <gasps> That's deep, man. That's some X-Files level deepness. Okay, we got Darth Vader, Darth Vader, Darth Vader. Some Darth Vader artworks. Luke Skywalker. Those are all cover arts. Up, oh, Jabba the Slug. He looks like he has bullet wounds in his tummy there, doesn't he? And some sticky cards. Han and Luke getting sticky together. Hot. All right. Do, 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 do. Male bonding. Do, 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 do. How about these McDonald's? Mr. 30 people left because you went to get more packs. I know. Torchic. You got Torchic. And this one has some speckling on it, huh? Interesting. Okay. Some speckling. That's a lovely Torchic. Ruben Aguilar. You got a lot of cards, Mr. Ruben. A lot of Star Wars cards in there making your bag very fat. When it comes to the Star Wars packs, you guys keep all the cards. All right, let's see who's next. It's Harrison Park, who says, Mr. F My first time, I don't have a bag. Five Blue Sky Stream, five Lost Thunder, and one custom pack. Thanks. That's for Harrison Park. You got it, Harrison. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. He also wants five Lost Thunder. One, two, three, four, five. And one custom pack. Okay, one custom pack. Doot, 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 doot. What? Who's this guy? You got the metal guy. It's Melton. So that's a cold pack in the, the live customs. Let's see what kind of pulls you get over here, though. Sneep. Who beat you, Alex? Tell us. We can help. Oh, my God. Here we are. Mister, I watch the Power Rangers. Nice. Go, go, Power Rangers. This is for Harrison Park. You ready, Harrison? One. We've got two, Zygarde. Can you see if my tornadoes would do good at CGC, says Casey. Your tornadoes? What are you even talking about, man? You don't got no tornadoes. Here's Toxtricity. Gyarados, and also you're referring to a pre-grade. I do offer pre-grades for $6, okay? Here's Gyarados. And the reason I do that is so that I don't get a bunch of requests for me to dig through people's bags and start telling them what their grades are going to be. Here is, oh, look at this! Suicune Full Art. Of course it would go to you and not to the other guy. That's Suicune Full Art going to Harrison Park. I told you he's in here. There's also a Hyper Rare and a GX version of the card. Dude, it was right there. All he had to do was go a little deeper. God, dude, don't you hate it when it works out that way? <laughs> Not that I can do about it. That's just RNG. Just RNG. But that is a Suicune box. It's also a Lugia box, by the way. Lugia and Suicune, both in Lost Thunder. That's why it's a top choice. Yeah, on my list of, of card packs, along with the team-up packs, Lost Thunder is a top choice for Lugia and Suicune. They pull all the time out of this set. They don't pull all the time out of the English set, but they pull all the time out of the Japanese set. They're very common over there. All right. So that goes to Harrison Park. He says, it's my first time. Damn, dude, that's a good first time. Jesus. Here we are. And I'm sorry to Mr. Michael Lapravote. <laughs> that probably doesn't feel too good. Harrison... Although he's probably a good sport. 
most people are good sports about it. You know what I mean? Every now and then you get somebody who actually does get really mad and then they send me a nasty message at Discord. That should have been my card. All right, we're refresh. Love it when the girls say that. Sexy as fuck. I don't know. It's only like my third day out here. Applejack got a nice hat. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? You all out of tag bolt? I am not out of tag bolt. No, sir. So after Michael Lap, I'm sorry, after Harrison Park, after Harrison Park, we have a Michael Lapper vote who wants 10 Lost Thunders. Well, Mr. Michael, don't give up hope. There is still a shot. You may be pulling a Suicune Hyper Rare out of here. Remember, sometimes the Japanese boxes have a Hyper Rare pull in them too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I don't think the other guy was trying to snipe you. He probably just realized he was also interested in Suicune and he had already placed his order. So I don't think he knew that your next 10 round was going to be cold. So he just got very lucky. And Mr. Michael Lopper vote. Maybe you'll get lucky too. Let's find out. Damn, dude. If I get Pikachu, can you grade it with your grading service when it's open? Um, yes. What? Oh, you're talking about TCC grading? Yes, but that'll be a while, okay? So... Your cards could be stuck over here for a long time. You got Shuckle. All right, Shuckle. Cold. I would love it if you pulled a Suicune Hyper Rare. Because then you can all go to bed happy. Cold. Cold. Here's Raikou. Rawr. Cold. Oh, there's the Lugia GX. Don't forget he's in here too. Say, we're looking for a Suicune. We forget about him. Okay, Lugia. And... Ampharos. So, 10 packs, 2 pulls. Shuckle and Lugia. Let's go ahead and put these in your bag, Mr. Michael. And Mr. Michael, you'll probably get the Suicune one day. All right, now we've got Mr. Dave O'Callaghan. He says, two McDonald's, two Star Wars. Every Star Wars pull is hot to me. Still searching for that Pikachu. Thanks, TCC. I have a bag. All right, so it is officially time for a new box of Star Wars. Where do I keep all my Star Wars? Give me a minute. Here we are. Mom, I'm scared. That's pretty cool. No Darth Maul. Cut them all. I like Darth Maul a lot. Maybe we'll have more Star Wars sets in the near future. I think that the Star Wars set's been pretty popular, actually. Wouldn't you guys agree? Try and open this nice. I think even the empty boxes here are valuable. Okay. Set this up here. Here it goes. My faves, Jabba. <laughs> I got Raikou, Ente, and Lugia. I think Suicune just doesn't like me. You got all the other cards except for Suicune. Gosh, man. That is just the name of the game, isn't it? The Pokemons are always trying to evade. They're like, nah, you can't catch us. You'll never catch me. You'll never catch me. La, 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 la. So here's Darth Vader. Luke's hand. The Emperor's guard. C-3PO holding Leia for some reason. <laughs> here's the Doctor. C-3PO all torn to pieces. And Greedo. <laughs> I'm trying to get some Poutang. So he said two Star Wars, two McDonald's. We'll get the two McDonald's right after this, okay? Now here's the other Star Wars pack. Second Star Wars packs is uh, Lando, Darth Vader. Here's 
a cover art, Darth Vader again. R2-D2, Darth Vader. Sexy Leia. Oh, you got lucky, man, because the card right behind it, the uh, bottom edge is bent. I don't think this one has, does it? Maybe, yeah, it's a little bit of a bent corner. So I don't think your Leia has a chance for the 10. But that is one of the sexy Leias, uh, the ones where she actually looks kind of um, not boring because there's a version of the card that looks not as uh, not as good, let's say. So I don't know if this one will be worth grading because uh, the bottom left-hand corner is a little bent. Now, that's not my fault. That's just how the box is. It's a very old box from 1993, and that's one of the risks of opening old vintage cards. You might end up with the card with a little bent corner, but this one still looks really good. I bet you it would still get about a nine. And that goes to Dave O'Callaghan. Mr. Dave. Now, wait, let's get your McDonald's, too. Reach behind me here. He's looking for our pee, pee chew. You should sell light brights. What? All right, I'm selling light brights. I'd have just removed these all beforehand from their stupid cases because I did that last time and it clears my trash can up so nicely. They made multiple series of Star Wars packs. I know, there's all these Star Wars out there. There's so much Star Wars cards out there. Okay, Mr. Dave, Dave O'Callaghan. Whoop, we got Turtwig. Look at this Turtwig. He got a little leaf on his head. That's so nice. There are those little glowing pins you put in light bulbs. Light, I, okay, so that is what it is. You know, when I was a kid, I had one of those. I'm going to start selling light brights. You get a little image and you fill the lights in and then it creates a little glow up image. They're a little creepy if you did like a clown, but they, it was really cool. Those are super old. Reminds me of my grandma before she passed away. I have a lot of fond memories of my grandma's house, but those are all from when I was a child, like a child, child, really young. So this is for Dave O'Callaghan. Every Star Wars pull is hot to me, still searching for that Pikachu. And we need to find your bag now, Mr. Dave. Would I put you up top? I did, I did. So Mr. Dave, your bag's getting pretty large. We could probably ship you out. Uh, we're gonna put you in the overflow, Dave, where Evan Shea used to be. All right, so Dave, you're in the, o he says, what should I ship? Or when should I ship? Uh, whenever you feel like it, you can just say, hey, I'm ready for shipping in the Please Ship channel, and that puts you in line. Now we've got Matthew Mangiello who says, one live custom, one Japanese team up. Thanks. Okay, so we got a Japanese team up. And Mr. Matthews, one live custom. Is that what he said? One live custom. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, look at that snipe. Three in the large. Hey, that's kind of nice. That's kind of a big snipe, actually. Three in the large. This is the large right here. That gives you 16, 17, and 8. Actually, I'll give you 1, 2, and 3. So that's for Matthew Mangiello. Okay, so that leaves these four spots remaining, and then the next round of the large is over. You got a good shot of winning that one, too, because I saw you already had some spots in there. Of course, that doesn't guarantee that you would win it. Three in the large. Sneak. What do we have here? Cold. Ah, oof. But that's okay. You did good with your large custom. Your live custom, I mean. Three in the large. Feel the large. I'm off to the chippy, mister, because I'm hungry. You're off to the chippy. Damn, dude. Why don't I live in Europe yet? I want to live in Europe. I bet if I lived in Europe, I could get like a crazy card grading company going because there'd be so many people in Europe looking for card grading. I put my small in the large, mister. Um, what? <laughs> Did she already have the duck trio? You're putting your diglet in. So after Matthew, we have Harrison Park. Let's run it back, mister. Five Lost Thunder, five Blue Sky, live shipping. Actually, I want the cards, haha. -ha. I also, I want the cards, ha. -ha. I messaged you underscore already, already under... Whom's you can ship after stream? Because I want people to get their packs before you close requests. Um, that is a very confusing message. So I can see that you ordered five Lost Thunder. One, two, three, four, five. And five Blue Sky Stream, right? Let's see if we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're sold out of the Blue Sky Stream. It's all sold out. We've got tons of Towering Perfection. 
but not Blue Sky Stream. I probably could have just marked them down for $8 a pack, but I decided that is just ridiculously high, so that's why I didn't do that. So Blue Sky Stream is sold out. Okay, just like Eevee Heroes is sold out. I hate seeing that. Now, I want the cards. I messaged you on Discord under hoops you can ship after stream. Let's see. Oh, your Discord name is Hoomst. I gotcha. All right, but see, you also wrote down your address and your message. That's why none of that was making sense. Here we go. Whew. Thank you so much, Mr. Hoomst. Let's get these packs open, huh? Would you consider lowering the price of the Final Fantasy Opus 11 packs or not? Uh, I would only do that if I was restocking them and I found that the price on the box had lowered. That's the only time I lower prices. I lower prices when I do a restock and the price shifted down. Um, because the prices today are based on what I paid last time I restocked. So let's say uh, let's let's say I paid a thousand dollars for a booster box. I will, I will base my price off of that $1,000. But then let's say that same booster box falls down to $500. I'm still going to sell my remaining packs at the price I set when I paid $1,000 for it. But when I go to restock it, if it fell down to $500, then the price of the pack also falls down. So that's kind of how it works. Okay, so Mr. Harrison Park, you ready? You've got this lovely Volcarona. Ooh, Volcarona. And a cold pack. And a Trevenant. Look at this Trevenant. Okay, we got Trevenant. You also pull a cold one. And a cold one. All right, so that was your Blue Sky Stream. Now we're working on Lost Thunder. So you got Meganium. Nice. Cold. Here's Naganadel. Ooh, we need to get GX out of here. Cold. And, oh, mister, that was a perfectly cold round of Lost Thunder. I apologize. I guess it's not too bad because you still walk away with the Full Art Suicune. Is that right? You do. So you're still doing very well in the Lost Thunder. You're looking for that double dip, but it didn't happen this time. But it could have happened. Could have happened. Okay, go ahead there. You know what would have been really upsetting is if you kept opening and then you pulled a Hyper Rare Suicune out right after Michael Lapravote. I mean, it would have been like the ultimate snipe. You know what I mean? So, and you're also ordering live shipping, which we can get that done. Give me a minute. Now, my opinion is a little early for live shipping because your bag's still got plenty of room in it. But if you're wanting live shipping right away, we can still do that. Some people like the fast live shipping, especially when they pull hot. They go, oh my gosh, I want that card. Okay, put your name down, and let's get your email. All right, we got your email. Boop. Here we go, and let me print you a label. Print. Harrison Park, you're ready to go. Got your label. Place you over here with everyone else. And who's next? Let's see what's happening now. We got Nicholas Jarek, who says, Nicholas Jarek, have a bag, two Star Wars Galaxy. You got it, Mr. Nicholas Jarek, two Star Wars Galaxy. All right. Harrison says, thanks, mister. Thank you, mister. Sneep. And sneep. All right. What do we got? We got Star Wars cover art, cover art, cover art, cover art, Death Star, Han Solo concept art, Lando concept art, and another cover art. No sexy Leia's in here at all. You want the battle bots. Oh, nice. On pack number two for Mr. Nicholas Jarrett, we pull... 
Mercenaries, Yoda, Chewbacca Family, cover art, Sexy Leia, Leia as a mercenary, Grand, Grand, who, Toph? Is it Grand Toph? Grand Moff Tarkin, Grand Moff Tarkin. By the way, this actor, he was in another movie that I actually watched called like The Green Knight or something like that. And this is uh, the Star Wars studio movie, moving in Hollywood. Mo Mr. I watched the movie Castaway. Wilson, Wilson. Shiny Star V is my favorite Japanese set. That's right. We're opening a lot of Shiny Star V with our friend, Mr. Devin Kawamura. He was going real deep in it. Devin and another guy. I think James O'Brien too. Yeah, James O'Brien was opening lots of Shiny Star. Tough set still, you know, you don't, we did eventually pull a Charizard V, but he doesn't pull like super often, you know. I guess that's the way it's meant to be, too, right? Like, imagine if he pulled all the time. He just wouldn't be rare then. Here's Mr. Nicholas Jarek. Nicholas, you had a good night. Sniped that uh, Rayquaza very easily. Here we are. Aha! Uh -huh. Woohoo! Brandon Jarek. We got a Brandon Jarek who says two more McDonald's before work. You got it, Brandon. Two more McDonald's. Well, here they are. They moved. Mr. gets all of his cards from StockX. I get all of my cards from Kmart.com. There we go. If you haven't been to Kmart.com, you don't know what you're missing. I cracked my phone. Okay, there we go. Brandon Jarrett. Pack number one is Far Right Poiple. And look at that. So this card has the heavy hollow bleed. Ooh, very nice. Well, he's a little thin on the bottom. He's going to get one of these. McDonald's Charizards. What? I got the... You go to Kmart.com, wait for the blue light special, open up a Kmart account, and then... You know, I need to make a video of myself actually buying cards on Kmart.com. I think that would be a funny video. Okay, here's Snivy. Sweet. All right, there we go. Very nice. That's for Brandon Janet. Brandon Jarrett, I mean. Mr. Brandon, sorry for messing your name up there. Let me grab your bag. You got some heavy hollow bleed on those cards. Do, 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 do. What's that music, man? So catchy. We played the intro to Donkey Kong like the entire stream. We are refreshing. Best Japanese set to get? Um, the best Japanese set? Japanese base set. For a bazillion dollars. I think we're done. Let me just make sure nobody's order was missed. Two Ronald McDonald's packs, one Battle Styles. I have a bag, Pika Pika McDonald's. So we have an order for Miss Bridget. Bridget! All right. Two McDonald's and one Battle Styles. Bridget! And let me see what else. Give me a second. All right. So my Michael Lapravo, he also ends up ordering. Am I saying this right? So here's Bridget, two Ronald McDonald's, Michael Lapravote, 10 more Lost Thunder, and then Dave. Yes, okay, I see. It's because your orders, you know, when the line is this short, your order can actually load in late. So here we go, Miss Bridget. It's very confusing for the eyes. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're opening two Ronald McDonald's for our friend Bridget. Bridget, sleep. I have homeless man money for food. What? <laughs> homeless man money. You got Cricketune V. Look at that mustachio. Here we are. Now, how about these McDonald's? We got chess bin. All right, chess bin. He's got a spinning chess. I don't like the Pokemon he turns into. Real ugly, actually. And... 
Grookey. You got Grookey. Now you just need the third one, Sobble. And you'll have all three of the new starters. There we go. Pink Power Ranger was my favorite. That was my favorite. Okay, so that's for Miss Bridget. Go ahead and slide this into your bag. I have Pink Power Ranger Funko Pops. What? Now, Matthew Mangiello says, one live custom... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I jumped ahead. Michael Lapravote says, 10 more Lost Thunders. I really want the sweet coon, and here it is. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five packs here. Matthew, Michael, why am I calling you Matthew? I should always be at the front of the line, mister, says Mangiello. <laughs> I want one more Ronald McDonald. Do you have time to order? Yes, one more Ronald McDonald. One, two, three, four, five. Mister, would you sell card stands in the McDonald's packs? I have been throwing those away the whole time. Um, you know, it's just a lot of, it, it, it's not worth very much money and it'd be a lot of hassle. So I, I'd have to say no. They're going in the trash, mister. Snape. Snape. There we go. The Lugia snipe incoming. Let's see what happens. All right, pack number one is Suicune. All right, so you got your Suicune GX. There you go, Michael. Told you he's in there. Hold. But let's see what else. Anything else? We've got a Blissey. That's a cold pack. Here is a Tyranitar. Okay. Cold. Oh, not cold. Shuckle. You got three Shuckles now. You got a full Shuckle team. Shuckle sweep. Here's Nihiligo. Cold. Cold. And cold. All right, so you end up pulling two GXs out of a round of 10 packs. Very standard pull rate. Pokemon seems to know what they like to do with their RNG. And this time, you're a little hotter. You pick up your Suicune that you've been looking for. So you got the Lugia and the Suicune, mister. Will you get more Matchless Fighters? I think that we will restock Matchless Fighters because of the Galarian Moltres being such a good pull. Also, the Golden Snorlax. I've been absenting your live streams for a while, says Simeon. What's up, Simeon? Okay, so I think we refresh now. Yes. Two Star Wars, Brandon Jarrett, two McDonald's before work. Yes, we refresh now. I am back, says Kai. I miss Matchless. We did weed and are watching your stream. We did weed and we're watching your stream. Wow. That sounds like an exciting time. We're at 140 minutes, and I really think we ought to wrap up now. But we're going to go ahead and take this order for Mr. Devin Kawamura. One shiny star V. I have a bag. You got it, Mr. Devin. Mr. Devin. Let's see. Sneep. Devin, you were the one to pull the Japanese shiny V Charizard. Now you just need the shiny V Max. Whoop. That's really boom. And a cold one. You got Santa Scorch V Max. I buy cards from some old guy in a van. How does he make you pay? Do you pay in favors? Does he have you do chores? No more what? Mister, you skipped Mangiello. I did not actually skip Mangiello. That's not true, actually. So what happened was uh, Miss, Miss Bridget's order had got both Bridget and Michael Lappervote had their orders show up a little later. And then what happened was I ended up reading like Mangiello later. So he, Mr. Matthew Mangiello, his pull was this right here. So we actually did do him. He was taken care of. Okay. We also have another Bridget order for one more Ronald McDonald. Here we are. 
it sounded like I'd missed you because I read your name off. Uh, but actually, what I was doing was I was, at that time, I was realizing that that was an older order and I had already pulled you and that Bridget and Lapravote needed to be opened. What did I get? My Japanese team up. Uh, your Japanese team up was cold. Oh, so you didn't see this. My, Matthew Mangiello, you, you pulled three large packs out of the live custom boosters. You did extremely well. Here's Linton. Look at this Linton. Linton the kitten. Yeah, you did extremely well. You sniped three large. All right, you've got a cute little Linton that lost his mittens. There we go. Okay, I think we are all done for the night. I'm just going to do one more refresh, okay? That's fill that large. I know how five spots. It's four spots, I believe, right? But it may be safe for tonight. Mangiello says, damn, how'd I miss that? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a big deal, isn't it? Show off all my Ronald cards. Well, hold on. We've got an order for Mr. George Smith. He says six towers of power. You got it, George. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, George. Ronald. Ronald McDonald. Let's feel that alge. That's right. All right. What are we going to do? Four sports left. We got, look at this, guys, the Duraladon VMAX. He turns into a skyscraper. How nice. Got a little skyscraper. He's the skyscraper Pokemon. Here's Galarian Moltres. His weakness is flying plane Pokemons. Here's Garbodor. Garbodor looking all sticky, yucky. Looking a little gunky. Cold. Articuno, and Lycanroc VMAX. Sweet. Oh, Lycanroc. Boop. <laughs> now people are opening up the Towering Perfection because that's all I've got. I've got Towering Perfection. So this goes to George Smith. Thanks, George. Gregory, Isaac, you must be up top. Yes, you're up top with your lovely... Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Thank you, George. Georgie. Okay, last refresh, but we are all done. So no more orders, anyone. No more orders. There's just one more person. I don't want to miss them, just in case. And I can see that George Smith was the last guy. So we're all done for the night. Thank you for joining me for the early morning stream. The reason it was so early is because I missed out on about four days of sleep when my in-laws were here, but they are gone now. And when I fell asleep, I woke up extremely late. So here we are again. And uh, tomorrow should be a normal night or tonight or whatever. I guess it would be tonight. So hopefully tonight's a normal night. Okay, guys, I better hop off and get some shipping done. I'll see you guys then.